Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. What up? What's up? My name is Jay Unico. I'm here with my carnal Monomaniac. Monomaniac, man. He, he, he's a uh, family right here. Uh, you know, Relevance Radio Show as well as the B-Side Channel, man. Um, you, you guys, how, how'd you guys link up? Let's start the interview like that, man. From the very beginning of me doing music, um, he was rolling with Timo the Blacks again. Yeah. And that's who, who really um, taught me how to turned my poetry into a song and got me in the studio for the first time and he was a part of that journey and we were rocking shows as Dead Silence and as a crew and like he's been there since day one with me and um, continuing our, our brotherhood, you know, with family and doing music is just something we do, you know. Yeah, and, and, it, and it becomes, uh, it, it, it comes across in the music too when you guys have that 
like we were talking about earlier, the chemistry, man, when it's a family thing first, it's just easy to create together, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, so, absolutely. Yeah, so uh, let's talk about it, man, what you've got, man, it's been a minute since we've seen you, um, you've been by the B-side before, um, but what you, it, it's been, shit, um, a year maybe or so, yeah, maybe, yeah, or more, but what you been up to in that time, man? Since then, um, I dropped two albums, I traveled a lot. He said like nothing, right, you know, since two then, albums. dropped two albums, yeah, traveled a lot, <laughs> just, you know. No problem, man, hey, that's a lot of work, bro. I'm, I'm just, um, I'm happy to be here. You know, I don't take this lightly. And, and shout out to your DJ mixing group home, the food snickins and all the oh, oldies. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Zion, like you're killing it. And I don't take any of this lightly. You know, I'm here with my, my family here and um, I'm grateful that uh, I get some, some nice coverage and travel the world doing music. And I just get a chance to express myself and, and interact with people because it's not just about me. It's not about just listening to me. It's more about facilitating that conversation and music just becomes that that vehicle and, and i'm really grateful for that you know what's your favorite place to perform your live music it's a tough question right you know I, i've been really fortunate to go to a lot of places and they were cool for for the tourist in me but as far as like rocking a wild ass show it's got to be tijuana yeah it sounds wild <laughs> it sounds crazy Hell yeah, that, that shit was live as fuck but um Going to like Nicaragua or going to Denmark, like it's just really special. And I feel like these places or Guatemala, they, they really champion. I think that if, if I dare say what we all revere about hip hop, like the true essence of it, and they champion that shit really hard. And it's just a blessing to deposit my seed, you know, my thought and touch the people like that. And, and your, um, you know, message as far as what, what you're portraying to the, to, to, to the people is, um, you got more of a positive side, a positive edge, man. You're trying to. Uh, can you let the people know kind of what they could get if they haven't heard you before? Uh, what they can get from your music, brother? You're gonna get a bunch of rawness, a bunch of reality, reality rap, real stories, um, vulnerable moments, pain and joy, light and darkness. Um, I, I keep it too real sometimes. But at the same time, like, you're gonna hear me talking about trial, being in an actual court trial, and, you know, sacrificing everything to make sure I'm in my daughter's life, and, and poverty, and, you know, seeing uh, domestic violence, and, but also at the same time, like, being involved in martial arts, and being hyped up and like that. You know, being excited about getting my first bloody nose, and, and expressing, like, the simple joys of, like, man, I'm just kicking it with, with my daughter and my mother on, on a tropical island, eating some good ass food. And it's, it's the joys and pain. It's the light and the darkness. And I, I think because I keep it so raw, like people really, um, they express how it relates to them. And I don't, I don't take that shit lightly, you know? It really, really humbles me because I don't, I don't do this to, like I'd rather be anonymous. To, to put it bluntly, I don't, I don't really want to be out there like that. I just know it comes with the game, and I'm really grateful that people fuck with it, you know? Because I do keep it really, really real. And then on top of all that, like I'm, I'm touching on the subject of, of intimacy and gender equality and how like something like sex and sexuality is a really beautiful but sacred thing. So I don't know, that's just what I'm coming with. You. Why do you want to be anonymous? Why would you choose to be anonymous? Like, if you look at my Instagram, I'd rather, like, post pictures of graffiti and fucking monkeys and, like, tigers eating animals and waterfalls. I like, do like those photos and those Instagram accounts where you can see, like, the animals, like, eating other animals. I really enjoy, like, the nature stuff. Savage nature. Yeah, nature. I really enjoy stuff like that. But, so, yeah, you would, you'd rather just focus on stuff like that and not focus on you. I want to sit there and look at my face. I know what the fuck I look like. No, I agree. It's always awkward when you post a picture of yourself on Instagram, right? Well, some people really dig it. I mean, I, I, I think I, a lot of oh, people. So you really dig it, then? Right? No, not me. I'm just like, well, you know, it's no, not all bad, you know. I'm not, you know, but no, but I've seen a lot of accounts where you can tell, like, they don't mind taking pictures of themselves. You know, Shay Vine isn't shy of taking a nice uh, selfie, right? <laughs> the selfie king back there. Hey, no, but uh, no, but I feel what you're saying, bro, and it. it it's like you because i've heard you know some of your interviews i've talked to you here before but it's like you feel like you have a message to give 
So you have to sacrifice that a part of being anonymous. You do have to be out there a little bit for the people for sure. because you do have a message to portray to people, right? And bottom line is like it comes with the branding of who is that person. And I definitely get it. It's the game. It's good. It comes with the game. It definitely does. Yeah. So it comes with the marketing of it. And I, I get that. Um, I don't really smile on my photos. I, I did an interview on, on Friday night for this uh, TV, this uh, national cable channel. And during the interview, you know that I, I was telling my homeboy here, like, you know that movie Talladega Nights when, when a homeboy is like, what, what do I do with my hands? And he, he raises them up and then they set his hands down and then he slowly raises them up. And I said that shit in the interview because I mean, I know how to like, I know how to maintain myself in a fucking interview, but that shit just comes to mind because it's funny and yeah, especially when it's on, you know. Every national. time we do the intros, I tell Vab, I'm like, I don't know what to do with my hands. So I always do like a little, a, little, earlier, a, little, right? a little boxing thing. So I don't know. I look stupid as hell, but I know where you come from. Yeah. He threw a couple jabs or whatever. Hey, no, but it, it is all that stuff is stuff that, uh, like, um, I guess you, the people that are just watching as entertainment, they, they don't think about these things that sometimes, like, artists like they're real people too and not all of them are you know uh, you know want to be out in public and stuff like that but to get that art out there they have to sacrifice that part man and it's, it's crazy man yeah i think probably like i'm really grateful for all of it so i don't take that lightly but i, I think that when it comes to a certain situation like i got recognized at my daughter's school and e even though homie was was really cool and really polite this is my daughter's school I, this is not the spot for any of this. Yeah, yeah. I'm over there like super anonymous. Yeah. My hat low, like sunglasses. Like I'm not trying to flex on anything. I'm just trying to get my baby girl and get the fuck out. So what happened? The guy came up to you and said what? I, I did a, a radio interview and they put the interview on, on YouTube and he come up to me and he's like, aren't you? And I was like, dog, I just froze. I, I really did. And, and I feel like I've been in enough fucked up crazy situations in life that I... I would like to think I handle myself pretty well, but dog, I was like frozen because mainly because it's my daughter's school. I'm like, yeah, oh, it's hell super no. intimate. It's like super. It's a super personal spot. And, and someone recognized you there, even with the hat low and all that. That that was a trip for sure. But again, homeboy was really cool and respectful, but it, it bugged me out for sure. I told my daughter when we got to the car, I was like, and this is why you're in martial arts. I, I swear to God, this is why you're in martial arts. Hey, 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 and speaking of that, man, you've been also getting yourself more in shape, doing a lot of that that side and stuff, man. Can you speak about is, is that also therapeutic to, you know, to to get that side of it? I just wanna, I wanna last as long as possible. I wanna go as hard as possible uh, in every aspect of my life. And so, if it's gonna prevent a situation like out on the streets, great. But the the byproduct is. I'm fucking healthier. That's what I'm saying. I feel yeah. better. Those natural endorphins, like, do each their own, however you live your life. But there are real things that you can do with your body, like like martial arts, like the gym or whatever. And that shit lasts for days. Like that, that feeling, that shit lasts for days. The only thing that remotely competes with that is like intimacy and that kind of thing, because that shit lasts for days too. Yeah, yeah. Well, us at the B-Side Show don't know about either one. So, I mean, it's not... <laughs> Not much we can we're, do, man. We, we, Shay's never, Shay yeah, has never rang like that, that bell yeah, louder yeah. before. The, the bell rung. We we don't get any intimacy, and we're yeah. none of us are in shape. Yeah. So yes, I'm sorry. Hey, but actually, I I, I do. I, the reason I was asking though is because I'm glad you said that because um, I actually want to explore, and I am gonna do it eventually. Like, I, I work out and stuff. I haven't worked out in a long time, don't get me wrong, but I've always been skinny, but I worked out. I've, I've, I've pretty much, like, I could run. I'm in shape and stuff, but um, I want to start, like, eating better and start making, like, you know, with the stuff that I choose to eat. You know, we eat a lot of fast food. Like, eventually, I'm going to just go, I'm going to go balls out, and I'm going to just try it and see, what, you know what I mean? Yeah. See what happens. It just takes but, a, a little bit of effort, and that's something that, I can safely say I didn't put enough effort in. Yeah. I always ate healthy since I was 13. I, I became vegetarian when I was 13. And then like two years ago, I'm getting out muscled by these guys in martial arts and it's kind of annoying me. I'm like, fuck yeah. that. So what happened was I read this article called The Caveman Diet and it basically focused on humans eating strictly greens and proteins. 
so I started eating meat and being really uh, selective about the meats that I eat and understanding the need of like amino acids and meats and bottom line is just cutting out all that garbage and I, I noticed a huge difference in everything, my energy level, like fucking everything. And your stage presence has to be up 100%, right? I have a, a habit of going way too hard when I perform, like just wilding out. Like, <laughs> like he knows, because we've done a gang of shows and gone on tour a lot together. And, and I think that what it taught me, that and also martial arts, is to sort of like pace yourself and wild out at that moment. But at the same time, like make sure that you, uh, you create a vibe and fuck man, I'm just, I'm just really grateful. In the last month I've done two liver flushes just to be proactive and I just want to go as hard as possible and I've seen my vocal performance like elevate and I'm just really grateful, you know? Dope, man. And, and I've heard that from a lot of, you know, artists that have taken that step, man. So I, I'm re I'm serious. I'm eventually going to do it and I'll probably be documented or whatever and put it out there, you know what I'm saying? Just oh, yeah. so people can see like it, it is real and I, I'm saying it so I'm a, uh, I'll do it eventually. Hey, let me let me talk to the, the maniac right here, man. Let me let me ask you brother um, you got, um, yeah, you, you, take my mic. yeah yeah oh, you you good. you've been like we, we've talked about on the relevance but producing for a lot of different people you've been in the studios and doing a lot of, a lot of different work man but um, um what what is it about you guys that the, the chemistry that you guys have as far as producing him bro oh man well you know first of all he's a beast you know, I, I just produce the beat, I give it to him, and he's going to tear it up. He's going to eat it, you know. It's some lean meat that he likes. So when I produce that stuff, he takes it and he runs it's with it. It's like food. Yeah, So, but like he said, you know, we started from the beginning, you know. From, from day one, we were together creating in the studio, and we were doing live shows at the same time, working on some chemo album, working on delinquent, on a dead side and stuff, you know. So it just, the chemistry was all there. You know, sickles with all of us there. You know, we're all there together, so it just we just vibe. We just vibe. Hey, and uh, you you got your spot for for those that don't know, man. Uh, are you um, do you just selectively work with certain artists? Or are you open to working with cats if they hear something they like and hit you up? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm just, I, just, I like to work with the ones that are hungry, the ones that want to do things. You know, my studio is a, a small, tight studio, and it's really just a work beast. You know, it's it's not there for fun and kicking and parties. It's let's get to work type studio, and that, and that's how it should be. You know what I mean? You get that vibe, but um, when you're going in there, it's funny and you gotta get get the the, the work going. You know what I'm saying? De definitely got the energy there. So you know, just once you get there, you know, you vibe to it. It's like when people step in there, like, oh yeah, I want to do something right here. Let's do this. And, and for those that don't know, man, how long you been producing, brother? I've been a minute, probably since like 2002, 2003. Yeah. A cool minute, man. This dude's been doing his work, man. Monomaniac in the building, man. Chehunico. We're going to play a video. We'll be right back. Um, and we got a couple more things to talk about before we sign off, man. B-Side Show. Act like you know. We'll be right back. Ever pray. Meet down, melt on your 
lost a pound Yo, it's a kip and nigga, yo, your weakness, you can't let it go So take, don't no pay, yo, pay, yo, pay, you pay, pay, fuck Look at me, I'm doing great Why you pray, break down, write a blog, fuck up me You a suck up and you're stuck up in my business Hope you're patient, cause I have never ever finish Watch as I extinguish, watch as I kill this, this and this drive This is my standard of excellence All of that is function, trying to stop my function Fuck them, fuck them, watch as I destroy them with my perseverance I laugh at myself when I feel pain, I say no fuck them all I never doubt of myself, I just black out, I'm done with it all Had luck in my soul, my heart is cold, hell yeah, that's what I'm on No matter what they do, I keep on going hard Shut up, shut the fuck up I look up in the eye and say fuck you very much Shut up, shut the fuck up I look up in the eye and say fuck you very much Shut up, shut the fuck up I look up in the eye and say fuck you very much Shut up, shut the fuck up I look up in the eye and say, fuck you very much I'm allergic to laziness, I leave them fools in the dust It's the most that I'm born, I think Paul will never stop And I rock so well, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out I am lethal to one thing who I don't feel love Think I have no feelings, I am that emotion killer Always true, I thought you knew I'm killer and no feeler Those who talk the most, they hardly work, they busy chillin' Karma is a motherfucker, careful cause it targets others You should've done the right thing the first time Karma's gonna get you if I'm lucky, gotta let me watch it I don't wish how many you want or anytime No hate, no hate, just love, just love Fuck em up with success, and then you want, then you want Elevate, elevate, while they wait, I'm kinda wait Back in here, man. Alcoholic session. Oh, oh, that's just me. All right, my bad. Hey, we got our guests in here, man. Jehunico, man. Monomaniac in the building. Um, we got you. You got the compilation out right now, right? Yes, sir. And and with copies that just on deck. Hard hard copies just dropped, man. Let them know what it is, man. This is the life support uh, compilation volume one right here. Features a lot of my brothers. You know, Jehunico's on it. Sickle, Soldado, Breezewood, La Connecta, Gremlin. I got my two nephews, EM Beats and Uno Epics on the production. Okay. Hey, hey man. And and shout out to uh, our boy Crazy Race. I, I hope he's tuned in. Yeah, Crazy yeah, Race yeah. is on this one too. Yes, Mr. Crazy Race is on here. He might he might be tuned in. Who knows? <laughs> or, or he looks like his drunk baby picture. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Hey, man, what up, Crazy Race? Hey, Jehunico, man. Uh, um... You you mentioned you you're gonna be heading out again. Um, you you are blessed, like you said, to be able to spread the word and go out and do it overseas and different things, man. Get out of the country. Um, you got something coming up soon too, right? You're gonna head out. Yeah, my next tour is gonna be in Europe. Okay. So I'll be doing that and always hitting the states and bouncing around and just going wherever, whatever roads open up for me and whatever uh, blessings bestow me, you know. Hey, and and that's what's dope is you stay humble about it, man. You get to travel and spread the message of your music to different, you know what I mean? Not not just states, but different countries, man. That's dope, bro. It's, it's so amazing, man. It, it really, really is. To be able to be out there and come out there with good intentions and maybe people fuck with it, maybe they don't. But there's always people that, that become supporters. And, you know, I always tell this story, but there was this one time in uh, Denmark and it's my second time in this small northern town. And this uh, this guy come up to me hella drunk. And he's like, he had my album in his hand. This is a couple years back. And he's like, Jay Honeycomb, I'm so happy you're here. Um, my girlfriend just broke up with me today. And I just want to party with you. I'm like, fuck yeah, you know. And I, I, I'm barely getting off the, the bus. So I have all kinds of shit with me. I was like, catch up with me later, you know. And they're giving me all these drinks to the bar. And, and I don't drink. So it's like, there you go, dog. Like, you can have all this beer. So by the time I was about to perform, homeboy was fucked up. And he, and he come up to me, he's like, dog, I gotta go. I'm drunk. 
I've been all skied out, like he's doing blow in the bathroom. He's like, I gotta go. I'm like, all right then dog, well, you know, nice to see you. And he come up to me like as I'm like after my first song, he's like, I couldn't leave, I had I had to rock with you, you know? And I thought that was really cool and, and it just made me think that as human beings, you know, we should be able to feel happy and feel loved and whatever just by looking in the mirror. We shouldn't have to gratify that by or with somebody else, you know? And uh, I was just talking to him and it's just really fucking cool and really humbling that we can exchange our, our ideas because there's gonna be a time and there was many times when I was feeling fucked up and I felt the weight of the world on my shoulders and maybe something, you know, really got me feeling better. Like a homeboy playing all this music. I remember rocking to Mob Deep at six in the morning, listening to Black Sabbath at six in the morning while I'm on a bad one. You know, cruising around downtown LA, taking chances with my freedom just because it feels fucking good to be alive. You know, so I just really appreciate that exchange. And more importantly, like what you guys are doing, you guys facilitate a platform for so many people. Your your online game is real real hard, and what you do for everybody is it, just really something special. And I always want to commend you. I always try to blow up your your IG, and I just really respect all you guys what you're doing. You hey, know, your thank shows you, bro. And, Hey, we're, we're going to actually... That Rap is the fucking man, that, dude. That segment, no, that segment that he just said, we're just going to like... We're going to loop it and we're going to tag every single fucking artist that... No, I'm just kidding. Hey, for real, <laughs> for real, you guys do a lot. They, thank you, bro, my brother, for reals. And, and we're, we're, we're doing more. We're trying to get it bigger because um, that's what we want to do is kind of uh, bring uh, music that, say, a, a casual fan may not have heard this artist or this artist and then they might be exposed to something they never heard before and that i think that's what i try to do at least so, so um thank you for coming through my brother um let them know where they could get at you all your social media and all that stuff man oh we're gonna play a joint no 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 you what he's playing, you what he's playing oh. now oh yeah oh yeah Yo, that was you the smoothest out, shit ever he just went like this he went yeah yeah he just pointed to him he had to go that's an Aussie right there. Hell yeah. Good looking so, out. A, hey, that that's a, hey man, I got some old records in my garage, bro, like that my mom gave me and shit. Like I got you some. You got some old stuff. records from when you were a kid. Yeah, so yeah. Let's let's, let's eight, call eight, what it is. Man. Eight tracks. Hey, hey, uh, but let them know where they could get at you and all that stuff, man. You hit me on my website, jwinico.com, or hit me on YouTube or Instagram, J E H U N I K O J Winico. Got Hella music and videos and all that stuff and um, we out there. Hey there man, hey, hey, keeping it positive too, and that that's something I, I commend you on, man, is Thank keeping you, that that positive message out there because we can get hyped, we can do music, we can go other places, but to spread that message is a good thing, man. Hey, let let's uh, let them hear something, man. You got some. Uh, D does he have something locked in? He got something in the chamber. Okay, let, let, let's play some. Which one you want to play? What's this? Whatever you want. Confidence. Confidence? Here it is, man. DJ Zion on the ones and twos. Jehunico, man. Monomaniac. What? 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 This is what? This is what? This is what? Confidence looks like. Looks like. Looks like. Go and get some. This man. is what? This is what, this is what confidence looks like, looks like, looks like Go and get some man I'm a bad motherfucker and I'm putting it down For my people with a little wheel brown and down So check it while I wreck it, come with a new sound I've been a lifting the weight, getting rid of the hate All the crooked politicians are a bunch of clowns Driving slow window down while I'm heading the town Faces is knocking and I'm rocking and I'm playing it loud Talking shit, action speech, that's what I'm about I'm oblivious, the envious is just not allowed Confidence is quiet, insecurity loud Plastic mannequins, I'm nothing than your plastic crown Hard work and sacrifice that's all I'm about I know the feeling is right I'm busy living my life But being that guy light Watch your nigga drown If I'm feeling good I'm looking good I'm shutting it down If you ask me how I'm feeling I'll say I'm wild This is what This is what This is what Confidence looks like Looks like Looks like Go and get some This man. is what This is what This is what Confidence looks like Looks like Looks like
looks like Go and get some This men. is what, this is what, this is what Confidence looks like Looks like, looks like Go and get some Never men. looking back, focus on what's next Never let us stress, I'm the best Loving at these suckers, bunch of busters All that make me laugh, always dressed in black Sharper than attack, better to attack Focus on winning, I win, it's never to distract Never piggyback, this is not an act Staying hungry, never thirsty, I am married to the truth And that's a fact, and I never slack I'm a riot act, get your ego meta back You feel the stack, you feel the crap On my worst day, I'm still killing a dick to how I'm feeling, I'm squirting, I hate it, I'm chilling, knocking and crashing through ceilings Every day learning and building, every test is revealing Best in my soul and I feel the trouble and I walk in, I'm milling, I talk it I walk and see the haters, they jump and I see the strength and I block it You know I'm all that I gotta sit back and watch it, I rock it, I'm going hard, I can't stop it And any goal and I got it, I see my target, I lock it This is what, this is what, this is what Confidence looks like, looks like, looks like Go and get some This is what, this is what, this is what Confidence looks like, looks like, looks like Go and get some this is what, this is what, this is what Confidence looks like, looks like, looks like Go and get some men. This is what, this is what, this is what Confidence looks like, looks like, looks That's right. like Go and get some man Make sure you get some yeah, of that yeah. man Jay Hunico in the building man Let uh, you know, let them know what projects you got out there and stuff What they could already check out my brother I got my new project, Thunder Eye, that's out for consumption, for your stuck in traffic moments, for your I love my asshole boss moments and parking tickets and while washing dishes. And then I've got some other shit coming right now. We're promoting the life support compilation that's going hard right now and constantly just doing, doing music and creating projects, conceptualizing ideas and I'm really big on, I've done so much music at this point, I really wanted to challenge myself, like I did something where I, I did an album in a week where I wrote and recorded a full album, okay that was cool, I just want to make sure that I'm not doing what I've already done and just challenging myself as a, as a writer, as a journalist, as a, as a reporter from the streets. You know, and um, got a lot of music coming. Hey man, that that that's what it is, man. And and, it, and it's dope because like the lineup we had tonight, I think everybody's kind of doing that. They're always staying working, man. All the people we had on the show tonight, like they keep moving, whether it's their own project, doing something else, uh, putting this message out there. But they're always working, man. And that's what's up. Thank you for coming through, my Thank brother. Thank you very much for having yeah, me. Yeah, man, means that's a lot. Right, man. Hey, hey, we'll be right back after this, man. Me and Baka are gonna sign off man Jay Hunico monomaniac in the building man B size yeah 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 Down, try to trip me up and trip me out. I tune in and turn out. They talk in, but I tune them out. Rest in peace to opposition. They wanna try to drag me down, but I drown them out. Forest burnt to the ground. We're germinate the soil, but I smile out. I fell down, got back up. I'm a classic in the making. What are you thinking? I'm never quitting, never stopping. Fire raging. These words said with a stubborn fierceness. So fuck you if you oppose. Them. This is for single parents, children of the forest. Parents into the sunset. I'm staring, worried no more. I'm not caring for the ones on lockdown. For the women who hold them down. For the single parents who go to school Want a better life with no help from the other parent A new life born out of death So death to my whole life My life breath is so deaf I rise from the ashes You better watch your step I'm restless but in step In rare form Only progress I'm on it I got this You want this can't have it Mi alma está intocable I patterned myself after my OGs And I will shatter All assumptions you hateful Last bastards blasted I'm up up and I'm all I'm up up so I'm on Sky's the limit I'm not a gimmick and I'm going hard, my fog lights are on to see through the fog. This is passion, not emotion, and love conquers all. Love conquers all, supreme love of self. Thankful for another day to give them hell. Love conquers all, struggle rooted in love. Absolute respect for myself. Love conquers all, you don't want it cause I bring it opposed to me. It's bad for your hell. Love conquers all, I don't always understand why. But I know the time will tell Love conquers all Supreme love, love itself They go for love another love. day to give them hell Love conquers all Struggle rooted in love Absolute respect for myself Love conquers all You don't want it cause I bring it opposing me is bad for your health Love conquers all I don't always understand why But I know that time will tell
yourself Out of brain comes progress Ask yourself, is this just a test? If your heart will shatter, then you gotta put it back together And you'll be all the wiser and let it go Put it in God's hands, but still be proactive in your pursuits Create a God, a master plan and This is for those that substitute lust for pain Because I feel your pain Just remember, tomorrow's a new day Out of disappointment and despair But the raging fire, your fuck is better prepare Out of the ashes I rise, stand tall like a sunrise Wanna shut me up and shut me out I try so hard to figure this life out I'm a warrior, you'll never shut me down You'll never shut me down, you'll never shut me down Love conquers all, supreme love of self Thankful for another day to give them hell Love conquers all, struggle rooted in love Absolute respect for myself Love conquers all, you don't want it cause bring it to post me It's bad for your health Love conquers all, I don't always understand why But I know the time will tell Love conquers all, supreme love of self Another day to give them hell Love conquers all Struggle rooted in love Absolute respect for myself Love conquers all You don't want it cause I bring it Opposing me is bad for your health Love conquers all I don't always understand why But I know that time will tell Love conquers all Try to trip me up and trip me out I tune in and turn out They talk in, but I tune them out Rest in peace to opposition They wanna try to drag me down But I drown them out Forest burnt to the ground Where germinate the soil But I smile loud I fell down, got back up I'm a classic in the world Yo, brother, DJ Luman I'm the MC here Posted him at the B-Side Show Shout out to the B-Side Show Dot net Every motherfucking Wednesday Shout out on a high school group, baby We're in here, man Hey, we had another night. dope show tonight, right? We yes got a lot so, of good hip-hop yes conversation yes going on, a lot of uh, new music and, and artists that hopefully you guys that were tuned in can make sure you tell your people about, man, because a lot of dope music coming from these camps. And it was three completely different artists, too. Oh, yeah. Positivity, having a good time, you know, by any means was dropping over here, dropping business knowledge. Yeah, yeah. It was a really good night, and that's what you get every Monday night, 9 p.m., when you tune into the B-Side show, baby. That's right. And then I got Baca. You got to let him know what you got, man. You guys man, got a lot of shows coming up. We got a lot of shows. We only have a few more for this year. You know, we're going to shut down shop in a couple weeks. Walk on 2018. Uh, February 2018, we got All-Star Week. And we got Metal World Peace locked in. And we're working on getting a Laker to host it. I don't want to say the name yet. I don't want to say a name yet. But we're working on somebody big. But the biggest thing, the most important thing that we have coming up tomorrow night me, Slum the Resident, Sushi, Michael, we're going to be delivering 10 Thanksgiving meals, to 10 complete Thanksgiving meals to 10 families in need. And so that's that's my favorite part of the year, man. It's our third year doing it. We're going to help out 30 families. And I want to shout out Jelani. He already took off, man. But Jelani actually came through the shop and dropped off a turkey. And hey, that's what we do, man. Hip-hop community takes care of each other. Jelani, man, for, for those that don't know, man, he he also does thing, a lot of things for hip-hop. So... Uh, shouts out to him, and, man. And Jelani's another one of those cats that he's not the best looking dude, but he makes the best <laughs> in the situation. Yeah, so. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hey, also <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh, we we did we we did our uh, turkey drive, yeah. you know, last weekend. Um, we're also going to be putting together uh, a toy drive here at the B Side Shop in Covina. It'll go to Toys for Tots, man. So uh, we'll be putting flyers out soon. Uh, we're just kind of all of us, man. You see everything we're doing. Um, but we're keeping it moving. We're helping the community. We're doing what we can because we do have a little bit of a little bit of say so. So we might as well use it in the right way. 
if we do not take care of our community, right? Nobody else will. So Thank it's you. up to me. It's yes. up to Bubble Jacket Rabbit over yeah. here to step in and do our thing. You know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, man. Hey, shout the out. Jacket weighs more than Rabbit. Let's put down the table. Yeah, right it, now. it does. Oh, especially when it's wet. Yeah. Hey, hey, shout no, out to the, the whole BG team, man. Show, man. Take it easy. <laughs> shout Jeez, out to the man. whole team, man. Steady Mob of Photography, Beer Poppy, man. Hey, Sue's DJ Zion on the ones and twos. Shea Whitey on the, in the back of engineering. Uh, Big Gene, Drac, everybody. Lely uh, is not here tonight, but she's part of the team, man. Uh, Vicky, Vixen, everybody that's helping us out. Um, thank you guys, man, because we're going to keep it moving, make it even bigger and better. Shouts out to Young Baca for coming through, man. It's a yeah, peace yeah, yeah, show. Yeah, Act man. like you know. There you go.